Hey guys, we are not at the homestead this morning. It is quite early and we are going on a little road trip to pick up a new family member. So excited. So I have a bit of a drive in front of me and I thought I would take you along. We are actually headed down to Salt Lake City. And uh, while we're there, I did a bunch of research and found some really cool um, nurseries to go visit. So after I pick up our new little friend, we will go visit a few nurseries and see what's out. Their season is a little bit earlier than ours, so I imagine that they're going to have more stuff out than we do up here. We've got some great nurseries up here, but still a little early in the spring for them to have kind of their full flush of stuff out yet. Um, but I think that they will have more down there. So excited to see a couple of big nurseries down there and our new friend. And I'm just uh, getting some gas and then we'll be on the road. We have arrived. I am going to head inside. I'm not going to film the actual pickup, but uh, you will see our new friend in just a minute. You guys, here he is. Meet Mr. Boudreaux, our new little Frenchie. Isn't he adorable? All right, we're gonna get in. And the harness that I brought for him is far too big <laughs> because he is a tiny little boy. Yeah, he is a tiny little boy. Okay, okay, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Oh, so, so, so cute. You are just so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right. Well, since we can't put him in his little jumper seat here, I did also bring a sling. So we are going to get that out and put him in that. Yeah. Okay. The reason that we... We've been talking about getting another dog. Uh, we didn't think it was going to be quite so soon. But our little Miss Madeline has quite a bit of anxiety. And when we were at the vet last time for her just wellness check, there we go, I gotcha. Um, I asked the vet about it and you know if there was something I could do. And uh, he said, you're not gonna like this answer, most likely. And I'm not saying you have to do it, but the best thing for a dog with anxiety is to have a sibling. So here we are with a sibling. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Amy, he's so cute. He's just so cute. All right, let's put you like that. There we go. Yeah. How is that? Oh, you're so good. It's just so good. You're just adorable. He is a sable. Yeah, a sable. And he is just a little over nine weeks old. Yeah. And he was in a litter of, I think it was four other boys and a little girl. So he was a pretty big litter for a Frenchie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's just so cute. Just so cute. Okay. All right. Now we are going to go visit some nurseries. Yeah. All right, we are at our first nursery. Say hi, Boudreaux. This is J and J Nursery, and it is looks like it's packed and it looks quite large. But let's go in and check it out. Yeah, parking lot is packed. I'm sure it is because it is a gorgeous day. So. It'll be busy. All right, 
trees, shrubs, and perennials. This is one of the things that I want to take a look at. So we are gonna go this direction first. Look at all of the pansies. Oh, they're so pretty. I love pansies. We, I'm definitely not buying anything today. Well, not plants anyway, because it is still way too cold at night. Oh, look at that one, isn't that pretty? So pretty, but way too cold at night. Wow, they have a ton of stuff here. Crazy. Let's go dive in. I'm not really looking for anything. I more just wanted to like look, see what they have. I definitely want to get some hydrangeas this year. I don't, I don't even know where to start, you guys. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're just gonna walk up and down. But that section over there with the trees is probably gonna be more, more my cup of tea. That's a cool elderberry. Uh, I must, I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, it's this one here. Proving winners. And laced up elderberry and black lace laced up. Yeah, these are beautiful. I think we might actually have this one at our house in the front yard. Let's try and get a better look at it so I can kind of compare it when I get home. Because I don't know what all of the shrubs are that we have in our yard. Look at these raspberries. They are like full on going for it. Holy cow. Not all of them yet, but some of them are. It's so fun to see all the green. They have lots of different kinds too. This place is just amazing. And blackberries. Baby cakes. Baby cakes, blackberries. What do we have here? Zones four to eight. Hmm. They look really good too. But yeah, no, can't can't buy any plants. They would not survive right now. <laughs> look at these bushes. Aren't they cool looking? I wonder what they are. Oh, it's on the other side. They're super cool. They're little seed pods. Let's figure out what these are. Okay, squiggly bushes here. What are they? Contorted filbert. Goodness gracious, they get 10 feet tall? That gets 10 feet tall? Huh. Cool tree. They just have a ridiculous number of trees. It's crazy. Crimson Century Maple. Looks like that one stays really nice and narrow. Um, what are we talking? Zone 3. 25 feet? Huh, that's cool. The thing about these potted trees, these are big trees, and so I don't even know how expensive they are. Um, yeah, $150. So... And the thing is, yeah, you get immediate interest or, you know, immediate size for the tree, but a bare root tree would be much smaller, much, much cheaper. Oh, that's a pretty maple too. And they basically do catch up to each other because these big, huge root balls are just, they, they've cut off a ton of the roots. So these trees go into quite a bit of transplant shock and it take, can take years for them to kind of come back from that. But they're still fun to look at. Oh, that one's pretty too. Awesome. Awesome. 
Oh, these are the other things that I would love to get is fruit trees. Apricots are pretty much a no-go for us though. Most of them, uh, yeah, it says zone five, but yeah, they are pretty much right on the edge of them and uh, peaches. The cherries, the cherries do pretty good. That's a zone four. Oh, nectarines. Oh, this is a zone four. Huh. Mm, I don't want a white one though, but oh, oh my gosh, look at you guys. It's flowering. Look at, oh, look at all the pink blossoms. I love it. But this is probably why it's uh, dangerous to do nectarines here too because they bloom early and a, this wouldn't even be a late frost right now if it happened. It would kill them all and you get no fruit. Contender peach is apparently the one peach that is recommended for our area. But these guys are too far butted out for me. They would not survive. Sure are pretty. Good price too, only $60 for a good sized tree. Again, bare root would probably be better though. Now these guys are a tree that apparently does do really well for us, the honey locust. I think I'm most interested in the shade master, but um, they have these really kind of delicate leaves. So they get a nice filtered light and they don't mind our alkaline soil or our cold temperatures. <laughs> Starburst honey locust. Yeah, just isn't that pretty? All right, looked at all the trees. Well, all of the deciduous trees. I'm not sure where all of the um, evergreens are. So still need to find those, but we're gonna go inside and see what's inside. Ah, found the evergreens. So we're gonna go look at those first. Then we'll go inside. It looks like a cedar of some kind. Oop. It is a cedar. Oof. Green Arrow Alaskan Cedar. That is cool. And weeping cedars. Ooh, I like the weeping cedars. Huh. I would love to have a cedar tree in our yard. Yeah, these are pretty. So many cool trees. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Weeping cedar of Lebanon. That has really interesting needles. Huh. Very pretty. What does it do though? Mm. Yeah, I, I don't want that. <laughs> it is cool though. This, these guys are cool too. The ones that have been shaped, trained. Oops, I okay. Sizable inside too. My goodness. They really don't need any more seeds. But we're gonna look. Do love dahlias though. That one's really pretty. Ooh, Gosh, you guys, I know this place just keeps going. Holy cow. It's gonna be steamy in here. Not cool. I would love to have a lot of interest in my yard, but. 
come down. The butterfly is pretty. Those are cool. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at those chimes. Oh, I bet they sound amazing. Yes, I'm going to be annoying and I'm going to ping them. Literally, there's like, I don't know, 10 greenhouses all the way down here. It's crazy. And it's really warm. So I'm not sure that we are going to walk through them all. <laughs> well, actually, it's cooler out here. I mean, wow. Look at that. Oh, I guess they're not full. There's only a couple of them actually. Like plants in them so far. These all are indoor plants, but beautiful. All right, well, that was, holy cow, a humongous air street, and I didn't even go through all of it. Um, I think this is the biggest of the three. I'm not sure that I'm gonna actually hit all three, but I'm thinking it's time to grab some lunch and let Mr. here do a little walkabout. And uh, yeah, so then we'll go to the, the next one, at least one more. We're having a little snack break. Are you good stocks? Yeah. All right, we have made it to, no, wrong way, Valley Nursery. And uh, looks like it's fairly sizable. Um, the last one, the other one that I was going to go to, I actually did go and stop by. I didn't end up getting out because it was really quite small. So I went and got lunch instead, and now we are fueled, and we're going to go take a look at this place. Oh, a greenhouse. Oh, that's better. That's better. Look at all the color. What are these? Primrose. Oh, of course. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen a primrose like that. What a pretty primrose. I don't even think I could plant these yet because our temperatures, I mean, we're still getting down into the teens at night. So I think primrose can take quite a bit, but not the teens, I highly doubt. Oh, the hanging pots are beautiful too. And more primrose here, got some grasses. My little man's doing so good. Pansies. Their pansies are still quite little. They have really good prices though. For a six pack, that's pretty good. Herb corner. We're gonna go see the herb corner. Now this, these I might get something of. Citronella. Jerusalem artichokes. Mexican oregano. I don't think I've ever heard of Mexican oregano. I wonder what it smells like. Doesn't really smell like anything. Oh no, a little bit. Basically smells like oregano. Italian oregano. And Greek oregano. Oh no. This is yeah, this is Greek. That's Italian. I don't know. I don't think they look all that different. Maybe Greek is bigger. Golden oregano. Ooh, isn't that pretty? 
oregano thyme. Huh. Again, I've never even heard of this. Mm. No. <laughs> Lemon thyme. Mm. See, I kind of want to get one of these. Oh. Oh, yeah, that smells amazing. Amazing. Mother of time, English time, summertime, garlic. Hmm. I'm not sure why one would buy a single garlic plant, but they've got them. <laughs> all right. Ooh, they have all kinds of mints, too. Um, Corsican mint. Isn't that pretty? Super, it's like a ground cover almost. Oh wow, it is strong. Spearmint, peppermint, mint of the best. Mm, no. Wintergreen. Not a fan of wintergreen. Early mint. I don't, we don't have any, like, I was, I would have been interested in a, like, citrus mint. So that would have been kind of cool. Ah, oh, bee balm. Golden sage. That's so pretty. A bunch of different sages. Nice looking lemongrass. Let's look at these guys. Lemon balm. Those are looking quite lovely as well. Sweet marjoram. What is yerba buena? Going to grab the lemon thyme. Um, a couple of these fever fuse. Maybe the whorehound. That kind of sounds fun. Um, and maybe one of these spearmints because you don't see those very often either. Yeah. I think that is what I am going to do. All right, so we are going to leave with a couple of plants after all, and they're just gonna go in our grow room. <laughs> Look at the cute little strawberry pots. So adorable. And we've got all kinds of stuff here. It looks like they haven't unpacked yet. Huh. Yeah, they haven't they haven't even um, tagged them yet. <laughs> this is kind of cool. And as hyssop, we are going to be starting some of this soon as well. I'm sure this actually isn't for sale yet, since they probably need to be potted up too, because they're all in big flats. Huh, that's kind of cool. Dianthus which are carnations, which we have growing. I'm excited. All right, I'm looking for a box that I can put my things in that isn't huge, and I'm not seeing one. Hmm. Now, I think I have to use one of these big guys, and I don't really... Oh, okay, I'll just have to use one of the big guys. Oh no, these are smaller. Okay, perfect. All right, going to get a basket and go back for the herbs. I almost missed these. Look at all these strawberries. Holy cow. Fort Laramie. All kinds of things. Cool. I just love how these um, places have had so many honey eye, honey. Un Unoe? Yeah, I know, whatever. <laughs> um, but these nurseries have had just such amazing selection of things. It's, yeah, I'm not used to seeing that. So this has definitely been a fun little trip. Let's grab our herbs.
another lemon time. You know what? I'm gonna get another lemon time. Just can't help myself. All right, let's go check out. Okay, well, I'm honestly pretty impressed that I only ended up with, I think it was six plants. <laughs> six plants and a small little French bulldog named Boudreau. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> anyway, this has been a great fun, fun trip and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you for coming along with me and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.